Welcome back to 100% Chelsea. Chelsea Women 2, Birmingham Women 3. This is my match review. What a shit game, if I'm honest. Uh, I think Chelsea played so well in the first half. They started so well. Uh, as well, it was a different lineup. That was fair place to them. Um, tough, tough on it, goal. I wasn't really confident about it, but in the first half, she did well. I think they were playing like holding the ball a lot, not, give, not leaving many chances to Birmingham. Chelsea had the possession like basically during the whole first half as well. Chelsea was not scared to play backwards, to play um, with the keeper as well. Um, not many, not losing the ball that much. Uh, I was also surprised that Millie Bright wasn't on the um, on the squad. She wasn't even in the group. Uh, it was Asante who started this time and she did well. Uh, I've never really seen her play that much this season. She just came on for a few minutes in in few games this season, but she never started and she actually played well the whole game. But yeah, the first half was good for Chelsea. Uh, they scored one goal with Erin Cuthbert. Uh, the 20th minute, I think. Um, yeah, they, they, they deserve to score, and then Birmingham scored like five minutes before half time, which for me was not really um, reflecting on the game um, that was on. Chelsea deserved to score even one more goal and make it 2 0 before half time, but unfortunately, Birmingham, sorry, Birmingham equalised. Uh, so it was 1 0 at half time, and I thought Chelsea will go back on the pitch and, and smash them afterwards, and it was completely the opposite because Birmingham uh, scored. It was 2-1 Birmingham, but Chelsea came back with Erin Cuthbert um, so to make it a double for her as well. And um, I, I really believed that Chelsea was going to score another goal, but uh, Birmingham scored the, the last goal in the added time, I think. Let me say that the second goal for Birmingham is such a, a joke. Uh, I think he's, she just lobbed the goalkeeper and Telford didn't even try to catch the ball. Like She just looked at it and didn't even try to catch it. And I think it happened before with uh, Telford uh, in other games. Uh, I don't understand why Hedvig Lindel didn't start that game. She's the number one keeper. But Telford started today. I'm, I'm really upset. Um, I think from MIA, it was, it, was, it was wrong to put them... Um, to. Um, Put, make substitutions and putting Kirby and Backman at the same time. They literally came on at the same time after Birmingham scored. Obviously, attacking players to to come back and make it to all. But she she took off Spence and Bethany England. Spence is a defensive player. She's good at defending. And you put Backman and Kirby, you can just attack. So then, how how can you provide? How can you avoid um, Birmingham from attacking if you take one defender, one defensive player off? So I think that, that, was, that was wrong and, and Kirby Backman didn't play that much recently. Uh, you know, they've been on the bench, Kirby was injured and you could see it on the game, uh, I mean on the pitch uh, when they came on, they didn't do anything really, they lost the ball a lot as well. So, but now after this, um, this, um, this loss, Chelsea need to focus on the next game coming up on Wednesday, only like uh, four days to rest as well, um, against um, Manchester City. Uh, crucial game, you know, Manchester City, big opponent. So hopefully they're going to bounce back from it because I think Chelsea deserve to win that game today. And um, I'm really, I think it was, it was a shit day. So that's it. That's all from me and from Kings Meadow today. Um, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can follow us on social media. It's going to be down in the description. And you can leave your thoughts in the comment as well if you went to the game because there were more than 2,000 people today in the, um, at Kings Meadow, which was good. But let, let, let us know what, you, what are your thoughts on the game as well. And uh, I'm going to see you very soon. A bientôt.